Hello everyone. Otando Nestembo aired again on Thursday night. The TV show is lit. Wow, kushobile kushiki ku wow in that Mseleko family. So Umatele, the Sina wifey, is the driver of that family. The peacemaker, the pillar of the strength. Cause wow, Umakumalo is really acing the Sina wife position, hey? They had a meeting and Umakumalo was chairing that meeting. She is the presiding officer of that family. They had a meeting. She then raised an issue of Sina wife position and asked Mseleku to address everyone as Sina wives because they are all equal and it's creating some cracks to the family. Even Makumalo said she may not understand Isitembu, but Mogel knows that everyone should be treated equally. You know, they are all senior wives, they are all seniors according to her. Little did they know that Mselegu doesn't like that. The guy was totally rude guys, yo. He quickly put them in their lanes and said Mateli will always be the senior and they should know that. Uh, no one should fight for that position. Matele is the senior wife, okay? He really came across as a control freak shame. I don't wanna lie. Uvelubo nuguti welele. It's either you listen to him or go to hell. He is the man of the house and he should be listened. And that's it. It's his final word. Things really got sour shame. Kwa mungu etafling. Yer. The meeting continued. Umatele wanted to know where they stand with the issue of number five. Ish Umangwabe wasn't happy, shame about that. It's like Umo girl has had it enough. Hence, last season, she seemed like a person who was ready to leave her marriage. Agaiza in Dabaya number five because her and Selegu made an agreement that Musa won't be taking another wife. Shame, man. She really thought she was a special wifey. Um Selegu said he really didn't respect his wives. Well, Um Selegu said he really didn't respect his wives about that issue. As a matter of fact, Umayen is not happy about this. So he would like to have a talk with Mayeni privately and Matele privately before they can address the issue of number five. It's really hard being in a polygamy if you are a person who's jealous about their partner. The question is that can you really handle Isitembu and be happy? Can you enjoy the pain? Umatele said talking to them privately will cause conflict. Doesn't he realize that? Hey Utobil Umakumal really defended her daughter Shem and said he always does that, especially with Matele, the senior wifey. Umakumalo is giving the sellout vibes, Shem. Umselegu responded, the man was very rude, yes sis. He said the negotiating part has passed. He is going to tell them or what's the plan. He is not going to listen to them anyway. It is cutting perilous of negotiate. Now you foot having your face tell a man to man, your mate. Yo, this man sounds really arrogant. Uno buminyana, guys. You know, it's funny what he tells men in Umnagoetu. He's always saying men should listen to their wives, especially if they don't want to be part of polygamy and if their wives are giving them uh, valid reasons. The man is just contradicting himself. Yo, guys, I in Ugubagu polygamy. Umaye Nishem felt uh, disrespected and said he never spoke about number five to her and he knows where she stands with wifey number five. She is not having a shame. And it seems like U wifey Umangwabe is warming up to the number five wifey. I'm sure Umogel is thinking about this very hard. Maybe she realized uh, that financially she's not that well. I Gabi, I'm not trying to bash her or anything. She doesn't come from a wealthy family and it seems like she got into his temple mainly because of money and maybe a love came after. Omusa also said he didn't know that Mayini and Mangwabe knew each other but I feel like maybe he's lying to us. Maybe Mangwabe and Mayini were friends. Who knows? It's just a speculation guys. Don't quote me on that one. Wait now, what's your opinion? Umakumalo went to see Umpelo 
about the issue of his dad abusing Bali's kids and Umbilo was not comfortable to have that talk, hey? Because she felt used by Mangwabe. You could tell by her facial expression. It's like she was saying, what the F is wrong with you guys? Don't involve me in your shenanigans. I just want to be a kid and enjoy my life without drama. But Oma Kumalo found closure because Mbilo said she felt like Mbali used her, you know, to take out his kids from the transport that they were using. And she didn't think the child was abused. The <laughs> So like last attempt, like kind of, and I know this, like she was playing a makadaki, so it's, it was as Uma, I don't, I thought like Gobe Umawami, she shouldn't have used the kamalami as some sort of a weird pawn in her game. Um Selugu then had a private meeting with Umayini. Umayini reminded him of what he said, like he basically said, if you want to go, you can go, he doesn't care. And he took them to other men and said, she's annoyed, AF, and she's still not okay. Um Selego apologized about, mm-mm, konainte of njengi apologiak, I, this man. He's now shifting a blame to Mangwabe instead of just apologizing. He dropped some files there and said Mangwabe and Mayini knew each other and that's what is the real problem. Maybe that's why Omayin is not buying the number five wife. Omayin was really hurt and broke down. She then said there are things that she can't say on the show and said it's too personal and Mselegu won't be okay if she decides to expose those things and said she won't attend the meeting of number five. Yo, I wonder what she's talking about. I just wish she could just say what is the real problem or what is the real issue. Yo, I should be lila. Should be lila, guys. This polygamy thing is not for faint-hearted souls. You gotta be strong, you know? <laughs> number five. <laughs> Apparently, relationship but the way I Share your views. What do you think about Mselego family and their problems? Leave a comment down below. Share this video. Like it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.